Hello everybody and here we are to start cutting some paper for our little mini album. I have decided on the 1 8 of an inch all around so I am going to cut here and I am going to cut right here and that will be for my front and back cover. And I am going to use score tape. Stro mm. Hello, score tape. Yes, good old score tape to hold my paper down. It works a lot better than glue seems to where we live here in Maryland. And I'm running my ceiling fan because it is muggy as you wouldn't believe outside, and and it seems to be stuck with me when I came in the house after I got home from work. So hopefully we're not picking up too much. I had it turned down. edges with my dauber so that I don't have any white edges showing so hang on a second while I do that okay papers are cut edges are not showing white anymore so here is a little way that I go about putting my papers on using the score tape. See how I'm just bending the corners. That way it kind of holds it up off the, the area until I decide exactly where I want to put it down. make sure that my bottom of my file folder the lines that is my spine and my little cherubs are not upside down sure I have a speed it up button on this camera so that I can just fast forward everything but I haven't figured that out yet I have looked in the big old manual that comes with this camera it's a Canon power shot I've had it for a few years and not a problem with it And this spine, instead of my uh, back page, instead of it, the um, lines being on this side, they're on this side now. And it is facing upward. Now any decorating that I do on the cover, it gets saved for last. I 
at this point all of your individual pieces that you have that are open on the bottom you can put score tape and seal them all if you want to before you seal the top if you want to take one of your flips that has a 3 8 inch edge on it and tuck it in here before you seal it up so that way when you seal it it'll be on the inside you can do it that way or you can just glue it to the top on the inside and then just cover this part with pattern paper so think about things as you're going along because trying to open it up once you get score tape and sealing them together it's a battle Okay, so I'm going to ink up all my edges, get all that part out of the way. I have a few of them that are done. So I do a lot of inking, and then I'll be back. Hello, everybody. I am back. It was just a quick little tutorial yesterday because I had things in the evening I had to do. I got um, a box in the mail from scrapbook.com. Thought I would uh, give them a go on some chipboard. Five by seven. What an awesome mini album that would make. Bazille basic paper. I didn't have anything that had the uh, price on it, so I'm not I'm not sure exactly what I paid. Uh, 15, 15 sheets of those, and this is an eight and a half by 14, which I've never seen go past 11 unless I bought a 12 by 12. But uh, I can cut them a half and make a eight and a half by seven or something a little bit smaller. So I think this is a better use of chipboard than uh, using the, the 12 by 12s that uh, I so frequently bought from smile.amazon.com. And then of course, the six by six, Prima Paper, Amber Moon, and I'm sure everybody um, on YouTube land has been flipping through the pages. There's uh, 30. You get six different designs and you get five of each. And I really like the little cut aparts. There's two sections of these. I think I'd like to use some of these in my planner. And I really think the orange paper will go nice with my new black cardstock. So. Here we are, all done the, the edges. Now we're ready to put score tape on and start gluing down some paper. So the first one that glues to the cover on the left side has the little valley here that uh, this needs to be glued shut. I'm not going to have anything that folds over the top and flips around. I'm just going to I'm just going to glue that area shut. Now, if I was going to put pattern paper, I wouldn't bring this right up to the edge because I have like an eighth of an inch 
so I can see a little bit of the distressed ink. But since this is just being shut right up, I'm going to go right to the edge. Yep, there goes my dauber. I'm not really crazy about that dauber for some reason. What it's made out of. This, this file folder just seems to be cutting it right up. I'm going to have to get in one of my flat ones and see how that one goes on the next project. But I think for the most part, the only thing I left that I have to put ink on would be the, the edges of the paper. So it might last until then. So you can grab hold of something like a pair of scissors unless you have a bone folder and then you can you know you can press them down if you like I think just pressing them with my fingers works just fine I don't have a pokey tool I pretty much just use little itty bitty scissors if I'm having troubles if I don't happen to have any nails at the moment Why don't, have, why don't I have all these cool little gadgets that everybody else has? I don't know. Okay, so let's hold all that together. And this one, I already have the tape in. I'm thinking Otis is outside my door wondering why Mom has the door closed. little crazy with the ink and I ink this corner of the sides even though I was closing it up but when you when you seal them sometimes you might get a little manila file folder color in there somehow so if that's the case you know you put a little ink on the pages even though you're sealing it to get me some more tape from smile.amazon I always get the packages either a package of like three a quarter a half and one inch this time I got a package of two that was a quarter inch each so I think after shipping and all that I paid like ten dollars but it's my favorite and that's how I like to glue my projects. I do have my E6000, which I use when I'm gluing metal. I have my Fabri-Tac when I'm doing My, my edges, you know, for like uh, material, things like that. I like them when there's hardly any left. When you first get that new roll, there's like too much tape on it and you're trying to get your hand and hold it. And I like them when they're almost empty. I wish I could have my my little tablet playing some music and everything, but apparently if you do a video and you're playing somebody's music, you can get in trouble. So I can tell everybody to, while we're doing this, go listen to Steam Powered Giraffe. My favorite music at the moment, which has been like 
over a month now. And I'll listen to them all day at work because it, they help me concentrate and they help me get through my day when I have so much work to do. It like helps me focus because I only have so many days to do so much work. And Thank you to everybody who lets me listen to it. Not on Facebook like everybody else at work, but I do have to listen to my music. Okay, so all my valleys, the bottom sides are all taped, and I forgot one. Yeah, you see, I forgot to ink one of the bottoms. So I can go find my dauber rolling on the floor. some ink on there. This one needs some. I marked my pages where they were going to be gluing up against each other because when you're opening them and closing them and this and that and then you fold them up wrong and you're like, oh wait a minute, that's not right. So, this being the cover, I marked it with a 1, and then I marked this one with a 1, so that I would know those two glue together. And I marked these with a 2, so I could keep them straight, because there's two ways you can fold these things up. And how did I miss... really didn't want to ink them this dark, but after looking at it, I'm kind of liking them a little on the darker side. Okay, garbage out of the way. I decided to use this piece of cardstock as the background of page one, the inside of the front cover is page one. So I decided that I'm going to use this as the background and that will be the pocket. So I can cut this in half, use half on the front cover and then half on the back cover. you can see. <laughs> I got a lot of cuts in this poor little dauber the first time I used it. And I have some to have the handle and then they have the flat part. The Tim Holtz version. I might try to use those from now on. When I'm using these poor file folders, they're awful. I don't know why all of a sudden the second week of October has decided to be so warm outside. This time of year my crafty room becomes storage for the pool because there's no place else that I can put all the hoses and the pump and the filters and the things like four foot tall. <laughs> so I have no choice but to look at this thing all year long and I gotta show you. I gotta just move this over a little bit and show it to you. Yeah, there it is. Holy cow, I can't get in the closet because this thing is like <laughs> it's taking up all the room over there. But it's not something I can leave outside so be all right. Now if I can get this thing put back the way we had it. Oh, 
Okay, where did we leave off when the camera shut off again? I just unloaded a bunch of video and uh, so now we have room on the memory card for a lot more. Let's um, let's get some paper on the inside of our pocket so we can glue this one on. Now the paper is going to be the same as this here. So when this is glued, I don't have black hanging off, you know, it, it's not going to look right if it's like this. So we're going to cut it Yep, I think that'll look good. So we're going to cut it so that it's even and even with the pocket. So we will glue this down and we'll have to pull our strips back a little bit because it's going to cover up the strips a little bit. So we will just continue from this part on and over. And we don't go all the way up to the top because we want that eighth of an inch border. through the middle. We'll hold this down through the middle. I am almost out of tape. I like this material this is made out of. I'm thinking I can probably use the back side of this packaging. Like if I'm going to do a shaker pocket or something, this is some pretty Pretty nice material. Okay, see how <laughs> awkward it is to try to hold on to the hole? So, anyway, it's alright, it's alright. Alright, make sure oh, I have ink. Well, oops, I need some ink. Okay, I don't think there's any really. Yeah, I think this is right set up. Okay. this back so far because when I have to line this up I don't want it to stick down right away so we'll just pull it down a little bit Let's see one. Of course, I have to take my glasses off to see, but when I get to this part, I really have to get close to see. So, this kind of looks blurry. Yeah, I guess that'll be all right. And 
this is the fun part because you want your you want your spine part, the two pieces here. You want them to be really lined up. Get my head in the way. And of course the the cover piece is bigger than the inside piece so we have to make sure that there's the same amount on each side. Oh I think that would be okay. Pull this bottom part out. So we're going to pull our side pieces out and we're going to pull the bottom piece there out too. One last look. Good. Good enough. Good. It'll work. Okay. She could bring my scrap bucket over here. Let's back this out a little bit. Oops. Wrong way. Nice, good. Okay, so we have the cover, the first pocket. Now we put some, some tape. Could have put the tape on before we actually glued the bottom part. Could have put some up the side, but that should be easy enough to, to slide in there. There we go. For this piece on the back, we'll wait until we get to that part. Maybe, maybe we'll do something different. Maybe we won't have a pocket. Maybe we'll create something else. So, okay. So inside, I like to have my paper on page one also be used on page two. It could be one piece and then a tag over here or I could do both pieces. Maybe I could use my other black one for tags also in these pockets and then maybe in uh, this pocket here or I could put a flip and then use this here so that way I have both pages tied together. So let me make some measurements and we will be right back. 